Hi guys, LMA here and welcome to episode 5 of my Hall City career mode series. As you can see, we're just loading up the game, ready to start off the episode with our next game against Aston Villa. This game, well, it's going to be, I'd say it's going to be an alright one, I mean, we, uh, we've we drawn the last two games in the league, you know, against QPR and Stoke, but I think that if we get a lot, um, if we try to get a draw then, you know, that might work, but as you can see I'm just changed up the team and some players in who I believe, you know, should start against Aston Villa who, in attack, are, are a strong side, but it's just their defensive, well, the ways of their defence really just aren't up there with the, you know with some teams because if they had a great defense then you know they'd be much better team but as you can see just uh <laughs> going through the skill move in circles until the little thing loaded up there we go and as we now well, as we are here we go get into the first game of our um, of the episode into aston villa just the should be the only game in this episode, but I'm gonna after this one I might do um, a special episode to uh, you know which will be the uh, deadline day special, uh, which I have decided I'm going to do a, a face a face cam in just to you know just because I I've decided that whenever there's a transfer deadline day from now on I'm going to do a face cam just so that you know I can well show people my face and also show my reactions to the players and and tell people you know who I'm gonna buy and all that so I'm gonna do a live face cam reaction on who I'm gonna buy when I go to you know to get the players in but and you know what I'm trying to do really is just improve my content as much as I can because if there's any chance of me getting you know more views and more subscribers on YouTube I need to improve my content and so you know but anyway Lovely bit, of, lovely attack from Aston Villa, and as they're on the attack, almost scored there. But no, you know it was close. I mean, this the first sort of 12, 13 minutes, it was very, you know, it was very box to box in in the the way of how the game was playing out. I mean, I um, I feel that really we uh, we were playing well. I mean, Aston Villa were coming on this all guns blazing, but we were still. You know, just stopping any chances of them scoring, whether it was just Ben Foster catching the ball or saving it, or whether it was our defenders blocking it out on the wings or what have you. But as you can see, new boy Albert Harzi on the left hand side, just playing his first professional game for Hull City. Uh, and he, you know, created the lovely chance to, for Tom Ince on the left wing, who also was starting for the team. And uh, he was just, you know, he was doing well on that left hand side, but he just couldn't find the back find the space to get one-on-one -on -one with the keeper as Aston Villa closed him down just before he was about to get one-on-one -on -one with Brad Guzan. So, you know, it was good, but then, I, okay, so um, we're having some close chances here. I mean, we've, we've been playing quite well uh, most of the half. I mean, what are we in now? 25 minutes. I mean, it's been a bit drab, but it is the first sort of 15, 20 minutes and a half, so it's fine. But as you can see, Ben Teke offside. You know, clearly offside, really, because I mean, he was miles ahead of the defensive line, so you know, he uh, he was offside. But that was a shocking pass. I'll admit, to my, I'll admit. Um, I I I, put, I went. I, I meant to sort of three ball it to you know the uh, the winger, but it just I don't know, it just didn't work, and uh, so it went straight to their defender. And as you can see, a lot of clearance, but. Um, you know, I don't know, it's just all these clearances now, I mean, they're supposed to be heading towards our players, but they're just not quick enough to get to the ball like that again. There's a clearance supposed to be heading to put, uh, Tom Ince, and he just, I don't know, he just wasn't quick enough. But as you can see, Albertars, he just trying to block the ball, and, you know, he almost did, almost managed to, but that, that was probably the, the best chance to ask the Villa they are. It was a very, very close chance where they almost scored from ahead, but luckily it hit the crossbar, and so we didn't have a chance to. Well, they didn't have a chance to score, and we almost, well, we almost lost our uh, our chances of 
gaining an early lead, so with that chance, but no, I say it's, it's fine, I mean, we're, we're playing well, so, you know, it's it's, uh, it's okay, I mean, we're, we're lucky really, because defensive-wise, at that moment, we just lost, it was like a, a slight lack of concentration, and, you know, they almost scored from it, I mean, it's terrible, but then, I don't even know what happened, but my player jumped for the ball, their player took my player down, but yet they got a foul out of it which makes no sense at all. Then again, <laughs> the the uh, chance for the Liverpool-Chelsea game where Ramirez elbowed Raheem Sterling, yet Raheem Sterling got a yellow card, also was another reason, which, you know, which was one, I don't know, it was just a weird one, because there was no foul committed by Raheem Sterling, he got a yellow card, yet Ramirez, who was in clear sight of where the referee was standing, elbowed Raheem Sterling in the face, and, so, and he hit the top of the floor with a cut out of his mouth, and then he still got a yellow card, which makes no sense at all. But I'm not going to go on, you know, I'm not going to ramble on about that game. I'm just saying that, you know, there's a close chance uh, to a similar sort of thing where, you know, our player goes in for the ball, gets fouled by the other player, but yet the other player gets no sort of, you know, get, get, gets no, um, they have nothing against them basically, but uh, yeah, they still, yeah, our player gets a yellow card or gives away a free kick, when it really, it should have been the other way around, but, you know, I, 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 I just feel that it was a, you know, it was a bad challenge. I'm not a player, but as you can see, just uh, I thought I'd uh, freshen the team up a bit, you know, as uh, other hand, they just didn't seem to be linking in with the team this half. Um, so I decided to bring on uh, ex Everton striker Nikita Jelovic, who, uh, well, I don't know about him. I, um, on the last game, he he wasn't great. He's because of his balance and uh, overall sort of strength, he just wasn't, you know, he wasn't good enough. But uh, I, I thought I'd try and see if, because pace is a little bit more oriented in this game, i see if, you know, if he was worthy of playing for the team, but I don't know, it just depends. Well, it just depends when I get him on the ball, you know. Uh, but as you can see, Ben Arthur just trying to tackle, just misses, but then a poor pass by one of Aston Villa's players, and we regain possession and instantly go on the counter-attack with Paul, uh, Tom Ince, sorry, not Paul Ince, he's been retired for many years, but... <laughs> I get mixed up with those two sometimes, but um, now I say we're just you know we're just trying to play um, pro proper football like, but I don't know, spends. But <laughs> saying about trying to make the videos more fun, I'm I'm trying to like you know I basically just add a bit of realism into the game into you know FIFA by saying compare you'll be able to get past players quite easily. And uh, you know, but if you if you're not great at you know LTR dribbling or just skilling in general, then you might find a struggle. But I I, I feel that you know playing LTR dribbling past defenders and that is a good way to get past the defenders. Um, and it's you know it's just a great way to sort of try and get on the counter attack as. Uh, it's probably one of the only ways to beat a player. I mean, if you've got like a moderately quick player who's got a bit of strength behind him and has three or four star skills, or even five if, if possible, but you need you definitely need a good bit of strength and a good bit of balance on a player to really sort of run through a midfield, you know, and get on the counter attack. Um, but yeah, we're just going on the attack here, Gaston Ramirez, trying to just cut through the, the midfield of Aston Villa, which, Although they, you know, we can get through them, it just seems like what, as soon as we hit the defensive line, we just keep getting blocked out. And so I've got to try, you know, find a way to get past it, as you know, to try and break the deadlock. But yeah, I don't know. It's it's going to be it's going to have to be some, you know, there's going to have to be some way, as they just keep intercepting every chance we have of getting in the box. So you know, I mean, that's the that's the that was the problem in this game. You know, we just couldn't get past their defensive line. If we could then we'd have probably scored two or three goals, but because of that one reason where they were blocking every chance we 
had to sort of get in a shooting position, then we just couldn't, you know, get through the midfield. It's like they were blocked, intercepting every, well, not every, but majority of our passes. And uh, they come on the counter attack and almost scored there with Christian Manteke, who sent the ball wide. But then after that, we realised that it was an offside position, the second of the game, to be fair. And um, so, you know, it was, it was uh, not counted. And uh, we just decided to loft the ball up to Gaston Ramirez. He takes the ball around. Ali Sissoko gets it through the midfield and almost have another shooting chance, but they managed to clear it out. And that's another reason as well that's a problem with this game when it comes to counter-attacks and that. Whenever you hit, because on FIFA 13 and 14, if you hit a ball at the goalkeeper and you parried it out, and the defenders would just stand there and you'd be able to get one of your players in, they'd just smack it home. Whereas on this now, if the keeper parries the ball out, their defenders will try their hardest to get the ball, you know, out of their box as quick as possible. And it works both ways in that because if, say, Ben Foster parries the ball, then to try and get the ball away, my defenders will literally kick the ball out, even if I'm controlling the player, you know, which is good. But, you know, I don't, I don't know. It's just basically trying to uh, get, you know, stop any goals is really what we need to do. As we've all, in the last few games, we've had, you know, we've had two 1 1 draws, which shows something that, you know, we could score goals, it's just we keep conceding goals at the back, and that's why I thought I'd bring in the likes of Albert Arzi and that. As you can see, Aston Villa coming on the attack here, the chance to come into the box. Ooh, but, but we decided to block the ball out, so you know, it was, it was, um, it was a good attack by, uh, Aston, by Aston Villa, yeah. But I don't know, they just messed it up, but <laughs> as you can see, the. Uh, well, we come on the attack, try, try and feed the ball through to that yellow bitch, but we just didn't, you know, we just couldn't get the ball fed through to him, so, yeah, you know, the attack stopped, but I think, you know, we play, we, we've played quite well, I mean, we're 83 minutes into the game now, and it, unless we score a goal now, then we haven't got a chance, you know. I mean, hopefully we can break the deadlock, but if we can't, then um, I guess we're just going to have to try and deal with it, you know, but I don't know. Um, I guess we'll just have to, you know, uh, try and break their defence down. And as you can see, I brought on Robert Stargrass, just you know, just to bring on some fresh legs to try and get the ball forward. But as you can see, Ben Foster almost got chipped by by one by a free ball from Aston Villa. But luckily, he managed to catch the ball. But it was close. I mean, he could have the ball could have gone straight over him, and you know, then well, it would have been one of the weirdest and and one of the most distant, um, you know, one of the longest goals I've seen scored against me, you know, on FIFA to date, you know, uh, so but luckily, it, you know, the chance was not uh, taken, <laughs> but it would have been dead awkward if, you know, the ball would have gone in, but no, I'd say it's fine, um, so yeah, but as you can see, they've just got the ball back off us again, and they're just trying to Basically, it's really hampering for a goal, but as you can see, game finishes nil. Well, yeah, game finishes nil nil. On the match performance for Ben Foster, and you know, it, 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 I don't know, it was a, it was a hard game, really. Uh, Aston Villa, who are, you know, they're a strong side in attack, and to keep them out of our defence is uh, it's a good thing. But as you can Yeah, um, anyway, see you later, guys. Bye.